We're working on solar today. We are inside the cabin today and we are working on installing all of our components for our solar. Uh, we've decided on the wall that we're gonna be building it in. So we went ahead and insulated this section and we're using this one inch uh, board that we got from one of our old neighbors, George. Uh, thank you very much, George. Um, so we are, uh, I just finished mounting these two pieces. I had to uh, install another two by within the wall. And we're gonna add two more pieces here. Uh, so let's just, let's get to it. On the advice of one of our uh, uh, subscribers, um, in a previous video, I had my hand pretty close to the to the uh, nozzle here, and so they suggest that I keep my hand as far away back as possible. And I've been trying to do that the best I can. So after mounting the connex, now we're mounting the the uh, the supporting box, which uh, mounts right to the side of the connex. So this is the connex uh, inverter, and this is that box, and there are these nuts here that are going to contact or connect the negative and positives. To the inverter uh, so I put a one uh, lag bolt in here or lag screw in uh, just to kind of hold this in place and so I'm going to tighten these up now with a wrench and uh, make sure these are nice and tight and then I'll go ahead and mount this box to the wall this connection tight we'll go ahead and tighten up this box now okay so this is nice and secure on the wall we'll go on to the next step we dug our trench and are laying PVC pipe for the electrical from the panels into the battery box and into the cabin so we're using uh, inch and a quarter PVC because that's what I had. So we're just, I'm just finishing uh, putting them together now and then we'll pull the cable through and uh, we'll get this covered up. So we are back at the battery bank box making some improvements. So let's take a look at what we've done so far. Cables running from our solar panels. And uh, we've got those now piped into the, uh, the battery bank box. Uh, in addition, we've got two two inch vents uh, that we're going to be, that'll be here. And then we'll have two more on the other side. We'll do that in just a minute. Uh, we are going to, I'm now going to put some screws somewhere here to kind of hold this in place. Same thing with this one. I'm going to put some screws probably here or in here kind of hold this in place here and then uh, we're going to get all this uh, cleaned up and and filled in uh, same thing with this over here we're going to uh, attach this with the screw or whatnot and then get that silicone as well and then i'm also going to attach a screw here hold this up against the side of the box um, then uh, we'll run the wire through and we'll get that into the battery box here as well. So, Okay, so we have the vents secured with some screws. Uh, then we basically all we did was just silicone around the uh, 
the entrance is there. Uh, same thing with the pipe for the PV cables, which are now here. I screwed that in to secure it, and then just added some more P, uh, some silicone. Um, I'm not too concerned with water getting into here because we've decided that we're going to make some changes, some pretty big changes to this roof or uh, to the lid here. Um, and so this should be all covered uh, with uh, the roof uh, once we've got the new roof on there. Um, but for the piping in from the, uh, the panels and the two vents on the outside here, uh, we are done. Uh, the next step is we are going to uh, add two more vents, uh, just like this, on the other side. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on that. We have a water trench, literally a water trench. But that's okay, because we're eventually going to have pipes in here. That leads from our pump house to our future water tank house, which is what's going to hold that tank. I haven't built it yet, but it's in the works. We'll get there. basically going to attach these and then attach this and so that'll fit into the battery bank and as our vents since I'm not using any water or anything like that nothing's gonna be going through here I'm just using the cement Later, once these are installed, uh, we'll come back later and paint these uh, probably brown or, I don't know, something to give it kind of a rustic look to it. During our prep for this, uh, for this uh, journey that we're on, um, when, the kids is, when the kids grew out of their clothes, I would put them in bags and boxes, and because uh, I knew at some point I'd use them for rags. And they have come in very handy. I think these are Caitlin's old shorts. So just another little tidbit during the whole planning stage. You're going to need a lot of rags if you're going to do this. So why not use what you got? Again, if I was putting, if I was running water through this, I would probably have used the primer. But this is simply for air vents. So... There we go. Two, two air vents. The next step is we bought these air vent lids. Uh, these are actually the same lid or the same vent covers that they used on the cabin when they did the soffit vents. So I think they used three inches. These are just two inch, just little aluminum pieces. And again, the only purpose is just to make sure that we don't get any bugs or anything in there. With the, the spouts facing down, I'm not too worried about rain getting in and water. Um, the snow we'll have to watch because depending on how deep the snow gets, I don't want the snow to come up and, and, and you know cover these. But again, I mean, they're simply just to vent the gases from the, the battery. So um, I think this will be fine. Now these are a little bit loose in here, um, looser than I would have liked, but uh, with a little bit of PVC cement, they fit just fine. And again, something we'll keep an eye on over time to see if I, to see if they fall out. I mean, if they fall out, maybe we'll just put a screw in it or something. But okay, vents are in. Alice, go cut some holes.
All right, so I've had this DeWalt drill for a lot of years. Um, and it was actually my first DeWalt piece. And I love it. Love it, loved it, loved it. Well, I think I've, I think she's ready to retire to lighter duty because uh, she burned up a little bit um, on these holes and I'm not sure I want to use her anymore. So, we're going to replace her with a brand new one. So, my motto is one is none, two is one, three is best. So, we're going to go ahead and retire this girl. We're going to use the new one. So the next step is to add pipe that will run from the battery box into the cabin. My thought on this is simply to run a two inch PVC from here, sim similar to how we drilled through for the vents. We'll simply run through the side here and then we'll run a two inches into the siding of the cabin and it'll come out over there now the one thing i'm a little unsure of yet is where i want to do this because I'm out here right it's going to be inside of the the wall over here and i'll have to run wire that way but so i want to kind of put it in as close as i can here so i'm going to take a few minutes and think about this and i'll get right back to you okay so now that i have consulted with my head engineer uh, and overall project boss, my wife, uh, what we've decided to do is we're going to take a straight pipe from about here straight into the cabin, uh, two inch PVC, and then uh, that's what we'll run our PV cables through, and then also the, um, the positive and negative uh, battery cables for the inverter through. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So now that we've figured out the placement of our pipe, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing mounted and then get it all sealed in. We are going to start uh, hooking up our batteries. Um, we are using four gauge uh, wire to hook up our batteries and I'll show you what we're doing. So we've got uh, eight batteries, eight rolls, and they're each battery is six volts. Uh, what we're doing is we are wiring these four batteries in series to give us 24 volts. We're then going to go over here and we're going to wire these four batteries in series to give us another 24 volts. So essentially when we're done, we'll have two battery banks at 24 volts. We're then going to run these in parallel and we're going to create a 24 volt, 890 amp hour bank. 
that will then run into the cabin. So I'd like to think that I learned a few things uh, by uh, building that hallway with some flashing. And so what we did for this pipe that's ex uh, coming out of the, the house, we did something very similar. Uh, we used the, uh, the same type of peel and seal and just uh, put it in little strips and made sure all, everything was covered up nice and sealed. And uh, we did overlap, start at the bottom, worked our way up. So all the uh, edges are at least facing the downward position. Uh, later, we'll probably put a little pine box over it or something um, neat uh, to uh, cover it up, uh, aesthetically speaking. But I think for, uh, for this purpose, I think that'll work. So let's get started with our batteries. Mm -hmm. 